Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression if we have square root of 675 minus square root of 648 divided by square root of 243 minus square root of 240 and its whole square root. So we write this into the simplified form. So here first uh, we focus on these four terms and we write these four terms as in this form square root of this is 675 uh, so when we multiply uh, 3 by 225 then you get 675 so here you have 648 uh, so we write it as 3 times of 216 so in this question you remember one thing is that we solve this problem without using the calculator so you can easily make uh, easily uh, find these product by traditional way okay so you know very well know about the traditional method of multiplication so here we write this 243 uh, in this form square root of 3 multiplied by 81 okay 3 times of 81 becomes 243 and we write this 240 as 3 multiplied by 80 okay so after this step here we need to apply the uh, nice uh, radical law so according to this radical law here we apply this radical sign on all of these terms uh, separately so that we write it as square root of 3 into square root of 225 minus square root of 3 into square root of 216 it is divided by square root of 3 into square root of 81 and square root of 3 into square root of 80 okay so we uh, we just apply this uh, square root sign on all of these terms separately so now here you focus on the numerator and you see here uh, square root of 3 is the common term similarly square root of 3 is uh, also common in the denominator so we write it as this is 225 uh, we write this 225 as 15 times of 15 becomes 225 minus uh, this is square root of 3 and we write this 216 as uh, 6 multiplied by 36 and it is divided by here you take common square root of 3 and the remaining terms are here you have 81 the remaining term you get is 81 and we write 81 as 9 times of 9 and here we take common square root of 3 and you get 80 only and we write this 80 as 16 times of 5 and here you have this whole square root okay so further you see here this term is cancelled out by this term and now again we apply the nice radical law on these terms so here you separate uh, you know about 15 times of 15 square uh, square root of 15 times of 15 is equals to 15 only minus here you see that this is the square root of uh, uh, sorry this will be take common this is cancelled by here okay so you now you apply this radical on both of these terms and it will be written as a square root of 36 into square root of 6 divided by here you have this is 9 times of 9 square root it is equals to 9 minus here we separate this square root on both of these terms and it will be written as square root of 16 into square root of 5 so now after this step you see here uh, we have the square root of 36 is equals to 6 into square root of 6 and it is divided by you have 9 minus square root of 16 and square root of 16 equals to 4 into square root of 5. So here we uh, again break this term and we write this into the simplified form and here we first write this 5 as 9 plus 6 we write this 15 as 9 plus 6 we know that 9 plus 6 becomes 15 minus and this is 6 and we write this 6 as 2 times of 3 and this is our square root of 6 and it is divided by this is 9 and we write this 9 as 4 plus 5 
minus this is 4 we write this 4 as 2 times of 2 into square root of 5 and its whole square root okay so uh, after this step uh, here we need another nice square identity and you very well know about this identity if we have a square minus uh, sorry this is uh, a square plus b square minus 2 times of a b uh, we know that this term uh, is equals to a minus b whole square okay here we use this nice uh, formula uh, in the above equation so uh, after applying this formula in the above equation our uh, uh, above equation is written as first we write our above equation in this uh, nice formula form and after that we uh, we just combine these values in this way okay so first we write this 9 as 3 square and here you have 6 we write this 6 as square root of 6 and its whole square minus this is 2 times of 3 into square root of 6 divided by this will be written as 4 we write this 4 as 2 square plus we write 5 as square root of 5 and its whole square minus this is 2 times of 2 into square root of 5 and its whole square okay so further you uh, when you combine uh, these terms according to this formula so uh, we write our uh, numerator term as 3 minus square root of 6 and its whole square and it is divided by 2 minus square root of 5 and its whole square and its whole square root and now we uh, combine the square on both of these terms and it will be written as a, a square root of 3 minus square root of 6 divided by 2 minus square root of 5 and its whole square okay so further uh, you see here this 2 and square root are gone and we get 3 minus square root of 6 divided by 2 minus square root of 5 uh, this is the remaining term and now because we write this uh, our given algebraic expression into the simplified form so here we need to rationalize this term and when you rationalize this term you will get here 2 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 plus square root of 5 here we multiply uh, these two terms when you multiply 3 on both of these terms it will be written as 6 plus uh, 3 into square root of 5 minus 2 into square root of 6 and minus uh, square root of 6 into square root of 5 divided by this will be written as 2 square minus square root of 5 and its whole square. So now you see here this will be written as 6 plus 3 into square root of 5 minus 2 into square root of 6 minus square root of 30 and it is divided by 2 square equals to 4 minus this is equals to 5. So 4 minus 5 becomes minus 1. So finally you get our simplified form is 6 plus 3 into square root of 5 minus 2 into square root of 6 minus 30 this is the our required simplified form and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos